Hello, welcome back to my channel, my take on how to. And today I want to talk about mosaic crocheting. As you can see, you can make beautiful things, you know, any pattern you can imagine you can do with this technique. And of course, I stand on shoulders of giants here. And um, <clears throat> when I was learning how to do it, and what was the most confusing for me in the beginning was to understand the principle. So that's why I want to try to explain that. And once you got it, what it's all about, it's super easy. So you will pick up and you can make your own pattern. Um, so at least I think you can. <clears throat> I did, so it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> so the big secret about doing mosaic crocheting is that we work only the back loop, okay? We only work the back loop. And that enables us to have a row of front loops here over which we can then um, overlay crochet our double crochet to start a pattern. So this is a simple pattern. It's called um, Apache Tea or the Apache Drop. And it makes, a, makes for a beautiful design, as you can see, super easy, two colors or more if you like, or even um, <clears throat> ombre colors. So uh, there is, uh, your imaginations uh, are no limits set here. Um, so the, the only thing is when you flat, um, mosaic crochet, so a piece like this, you always end up with tails. I believe there is a system where you don't end up with, t with tails, but I don't know that, so I just know this one. And many of my works are actually round crocheted, right? So they are kind of like I make baskets or my beautiful bags here. They are all kind of like round. And then you don't have that problem. You can just let your next or your color run up um, along the side and um, and you have it right there when you need it and on the inside you just basically end up with you got some there you go either you can see where the color ran or you can easily knot one to another and um, it makes for a tidy outside okay so let's start with the other next row here just to get an idea and uh, we do have to Start a new color and start with a loop. And this is um, basic. The base is single crochets and we only do a double when we drop down uh, according to our pattern, right? So in we go into the back loop, right? Into the back loop, into the back loop into the back loop and for the Apache drop the next one would be my drop and that's why I would put a double crochet and we go from underneath that corresponding outer loop and do our double crochet and there you go there you got it okay do one more. And a little trick is if you hang on to your loops while you drop down, you won't end up with such a loose stitch on top. And I also have um, another pattern I will show in a different video. It's uh, I call it the mosaic crochet basket weave. And it's different than your usual crochet basket weave. So I'm excited to show you this away. Okay, now we're at the drop again, double crochet. From underneath the outside loop, hang on with the nail so you don't pull up too high. And there you go. There you go. And that's all that mosaic overlay crocheting is. And then from there on, you can work your different patterns. And um, you can design your own and write it down on a paper first. Or you can also find some on the internet and print them out. Okay, hey, thanks for watching and have a lot of fun with it.